met each other for the first time at church. And we also like snack time. I like to do crafts. You? My favorite part of church is youth group. Uh, underline. Oh, talk is reading books. Snacks. My favorite thing and the best thing about coming to church is hanging out with the kids group. My favorite part about church is seeing people and the snacks. The projects that we do with youth group would definitely be my favorite part. Doing things in kids worship. I like crafts. Well, I've been serving with children and youth here at Alor United since 2004, which means that some of the youth I was working with when I first arrived are now married and have children of their own. So I think the thing I love best about children youth ministry is the honor of walking with the children and the youth through all those years and watching them grow up and um, and just seeing them flourish and seeing their spiritual um, self as well flourish in that. That's what I love best. The best thing about working with the children and the youth is how creative they can be and how much fun we have while exploring the stories of the Bible together. What I, one of the things that I've loved best about working with children's worship is making crafts with the kids. They're so creative and fun and that's been, uh, been one of my favorite things about being part of children's worship. What I like best about children's worship is the amount of time we get to spend with the kids. So we get them when they're babies and toddlers and we get to watch them grow all the way up to young adults and it's so lovely to see them grow and mature in their faith and together as a community. My favorite memory at Elora United Church is probably the time when Barb told us the story on how Jesus washed the disciples' feet. And so she came and asked who wanted to wash their feet. And I went and she washed my feet. And this was before church closed because of COVID. So yeah, that's my favorite memory. He's doing the Christmas pageants. And my favorite memory of our church are the pie contests. I think that my favorite memory would probably be church camp a few years ago before COVID. I think one of my favorite memories is actually the times when we've been at Barb's in the summer planning for children's worship and eating peach pie and trifle. My favorite memory at church is stealing cookies from the snack table. My favorite memory is having the snack time after teacher service. Playing on the play set. My favorite memories of our time in children's worship is always our Christmas pageants. Um, just the chaos leading up to them and the kids in their costumes and, and they're, they're so excited to share with the rest of the congregation what they've been up to and I know it's always a big hit for the congregation, especially the seniors, to see the kids in their show. So um, those are the things that I always look forward to the most during children's worship. Um, happy Sundays. just me and my brother and sister at church and we got to play with Barb. Well, I have a lot of favorite memories. <laughs> but I think they, they, some of them really boil down to some very profound, quiet moments with the children and you. And I can think of many examples, but I'll just give three. So one is, it was a few years ago and I had children as young as eight and I set up prayer stations for them. I called it connecting with God and I couldn't believe how much they just quietly engaged with 
connecting with God. They were coloring, they were reading, they were lighting candles and just um, finding that peace with God. And I think those other profound moments have been sometimes with the youth, um, you know, when you're reflecting and, and I have to talk about the Toronto team because I've taken so many teams to Toronto and I love when we come back after a day of um, meeting and um, chatting with people on the street and the youth come back and we're reflecting on the day and they say I met Jesus today I met Jesus when I talked to that man on the street or I met Jesus when I talked to that woman on the street and equally with the youth you know, we can gather in the sanctuary dark. I mean, I do love dark hide-and-go-seek games. I do have to say that. But I also love dark, reflective moments when we just light one candle and they sense the profound realization that Jesus really is the light in our dark world. And so it's those quiet moments, I think, that I love um, with the children and the youth. <laughs>